Okay guys, really quick, I wanted to go ahead and uh, give you guys a really fast tutorial on tying of the belt because I still have some people that are having belt issues keeping their belt on. So let me show it to you from the classical way. Classical way, I start in the middle, nice and easy. Take my belt around, I'll turn a little bit so you can kind of see my back here. But at the back, I change hands here. One of them is going to go on top all the way around. The other is going to tuck underneath all the way to the front. That gives me a good smooth line. Now, the one that's on top goes underneath both of them just like this. I pull it nice and snug. The bottom one crosses, top one goes underneath and through. There's my classical square knot. Very good, tends to stay in place when you're training, especially the stand-up arts. When you start doing more training, or if your belt is new, sometimes it doesn't want to stay. So we have another way that we tie it. Everything is to the same up to here, but one small exception. You make the bottom string just a little bit longer, it can be a couple of inches. Now I take this one, over the top, kind of upon itself, so it's kind of a straight line here. I leave a little bit of a gap, now the rest of it is the same. I go ahead and cross it like I did for the square knot, but now this one, instead of just going up and out, it goes through this little bitty loop that I left. I adjust it here so it looks smooth, I pull it evenly, I can smooth these over. Now, slightly better knot, stays a lot longer. And uh, especially when I'm rolling jujitsu and stuff, it's really, really uh, handy and it stays in place. Anyway, there you go. The two different ways that we tie the belts. Hope that helps. Thanks.